captain's log, star date 2821.5. Boom! What's going on, everyone? I am Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skeel, and this is Toy Talk. Welcome back to my channel, and today I've got a great video on the famous model kit brand AMT. Next Thursday, I've got a video coming on Monogram. So go on and hit that red subscribe button and ring the bell next to it in order to get notified of all of my future videos. AMT, designed to compete with Frog Penguin, Varney Trains, and Ravel. In 1948, a new model kit maker comes on the scheme. Michigan attorney, West Galugli, founded AMT, or Aluminum Model Toys, in 1948. His newly formed company followed the pattern of marketing that was set by Ravel. AMT started casting aluminum promotional models for the Ford Motor Company. Aluminum was easily obtainable in these post-war years, and the castings were simple but good. Ultimately, though, the aluminum castings cost a lot of money to make, and painting these models then cost even more money. Like Ravel, to lower the cost, AMT turned to the plastic injection machines. The plastic injection, while it still used molds, were far less expensive than die-cast molds. And the plastic itself was much less expensive than aluminum or other metal alloys. Like Ravel, colored plastic was used to avoid the painting process. One or two or more colors of plastic were okay, but the consumers wanted more. So the solution to this was plastic model paint. This became a product that AMT would market for years. Another model kit manufacturer was started in 1956. A subsidiary of Detroit Plastic Products, SMP, or Scale Model Products. Besides having a huge financial investment in a SMP, AMT hoped that SMP could entice the Chevrolet and Chrysler companies to join the promotional products market that is being used very successfully by Ford Motor Company. By 1957, AMT was searching for new products and new ways to market their products. In 1958, AMT added customizing parts to some of their lines of model car kits. This was in response to the older kids customizing their promotional models and the flywheel-powered AMT toy cars. Also, in 1958, AMT began producing models in styrene plastic instead of the old cellulose acetate. And they introduced the 3-in-1 customizing kit series. This would be a wildly popular series for them that is even produced still today. By 1961, AMT needed their own production facility. So a building was constructed in Troy, Michigan to house the, all their operations from design up to production. Marketing is the key to successful manufacturing. AMT had just that. From 1959 to 1964, AMT had a marketing guy, Bud the Cat Anderson. He'd travel the country attending car shows and model contests where he created excitement over AMT's products. Bud was known as the Cat from AMT and became the first true celebrity of car modeling. 1960s through the 1970s, AMT produced all forms of model kits, including one-to-one -one models for the film and TV industry. They were building full-size props for your favorite TV and movies. Based in Phoenix, AMT established its speed and custom division in 1965. The division's goal was to produce one-to-one -one custom vehicles for the film and TV industry. In other words, full-size props. AMT, with the Marvin Chemicals Company, 
developed the idea of turning the Marvin's plastic bodied CRV Cyclolac research vehicle into a real full size one to one model kit known as the Piranha that consumers could buy and assemble. What a cool concept, a full size kit. A custom Piranha spy car was created for the TV show The Man from Uncle. By 1966, the companies were constructing on-camera models for the new TV series, Star Trek. This led to an agreement with AMT to produce model kits based on the show. The license has proven to be one of the biggest, best, and longest lasting licenses in model kit history for TV and movies. And to show how long lasting it is, Star Trek model kits are still being produced today by AMT. Besides Star Trek, they have produced models of cars, trucks, military equipment, aircraft, and even the one-to-one -one models for the film and TV series. They built the shuttlecraft Galileo for the original Star Trek TV series for use in the show. It was used with the Starship Enterprise, and it was the full-size, one-to-one scale prop that you see in the TV series. As a side note, the shuttlecraft Galileo still exists today, and it can be seen at NASA's Johnson Space Center's official visitor center in Houston, Texas. It is located inside Space Center Houston's Zero-G Diner. Big changes were ahead for AMT. In 1979, AMT was sold to Lesney's Matchbox Toys. Lesney moved production from Troy, Michigan over to Baltimore, Maryland, where it would remain until 1996. The next big change came when the Ertl Company of Dyersville, Iowa bought the AMT Company in 1982. A couple of years later, Ertl acquired the MPC Model Kits Company through another acquisition. 1999 saw Ertl bought up by Racing Champions Corporation and it then became RC2. In 2008, Tom Lowe's new company, Round 2 LLC, acquired Polar Lights and the historic model kit brands AMT and MPC. At first, the brands were only obtained via a licensing agreement where they got the brands and the tooling. And then shortly thereafter, they were able to actually acquire the tools outright. The Japanese company Tomi, who bought Ertl in 2011, sold the AMT and MPC product lines in 2012 to Round 2. Round 2 is currently remaking and marketing many of the iconic plastic model kits as well as making new model kit toolings. Round 2 has produced license kits of Batmobile along with model kits of cars and semi-trucks just to name a few of the model kits that they are reproducing. Tom Lowe's Round 2 is taking good care of AMT models historic brand. Round 2 maintains the famous model kit's level of accuracy and has implemented upgrades to the existing molds where needed. Round 2 is leading model kits boldly into the future. AMT, they built all of their model kits based on a scale. And to go along with that, I have got a free report on scale. It details all you need to know about the most popular scales out there. So go on and grab your free copy down in the link in the description below. And as always, please like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell to get notified of all of my future videos. And please go on and share this video on your social media with your friends. Thanks for watching. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skeel, and this is Toy Talk.